I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go out on a big fucking limb. I don't believe the accusations against Dr. Disrespect for a fucking second. Am I a fan of his? No. Do I follow him? No. Have I watched any of his shit in a few years? No. Have I seen some of his shit? Yes. Do I think the guy is probably really good at marketing himself? He's a genius character actor and he's done a great job earning money through like building his brand and shit? Yeah, I do. But an accusation that was based in 2017 says that in Twitch whispers, and it's not an accusation from the person that he apparently was in contact with, but some other former Twitch employee, another big red flag, trust Twitch at your own fucking peril, idiot. It's claimed that he had flirtatious or, or inappropriate DM messages on Twitch with a minor when their DM services were supposedly barred to 18 plus users, use your own risk type shit with waivers and disclaimers. And a lot of people think he's guilty because he came out on Twitter and just outright said, yeah, there was a conversation between me and this person. And he says nothing more, but just him saying, the conversation happened and the accusation that this person was underage. We don't know how underage. We don't know if there was any propositioning. He says there was no pictures and no propositioning. Okay, propositioning a minor for sex, felony. Possession of child porn pictures, felony. He said he denied both of those. So there are people out there saying he admitted guilt when no such fucking thing happened. Twitch has tried to bury this guy forever. They hate him. Twitch is a feminist, a pro-transgender, pro-e-whore, titty streamer, new wave audience. Twitch is half softcore pornography and half political indoctrination for trannies and communists, okay? That's what you're looking at. And you're trusting these people's claims seven years late based on the fact that this guy said a conversation happened. What kind of conversation with who? What's the context? Was there any propositioning? Was there any pictures? Was it like RAR XD flirting? Like, oh, you're hot or something? If there was no pictures, how would he even know what she looks like and whether or not she, she's hot and if he wanted to proposition her? Okay, now let's play a little devil's advocate. Dr. Disrespect has cheated on his wife before. The dude is a six foot seven um, millionaire. The dude could get virtually any pussy he wants, virtually at any time. So people have come to kind of expect this because a lot of mealy mouthed uh, douchebag faggot streamers have been caught messaging really young girls and asking for the CP and propositioning them for sex and been destroyed. And this has happened so many fucking times, especially with Twitch streamers, even though Dr. Disrespect hasn't been one in what, five, six years? That we're Pavlov dogs, okay? Us supposedly based guys, you know, I don't know about you guys, I'm a misogynist and chauvinist. I don't believe women without evidence, period. Women lie. Women lie. Keep in mind also this accusation didn't come from the supposedly um, abused party, but some third party member who obviously has a grudge. And also, devil's advocate, Dr. Disrespect violated Twitch TOS multiple times before he was eventually mysteriously let go from the company, right? Okay. He'd done things like film in a TwitchCon bathroom where you could see like there are people using the bathrooms and in the background, there's clearly like a 10 year old kid pissing. You know, you don't see anything, but just the fact that he went there and did that, probably a misdemeanor crime of some sort, honestly, nothing came of that, but that was one of the multiple times he got banned for doing shit. Okay, but he kept coming back until eventually they let him go mysteriously. So mysteriously that Dr. Disrespect contacts a lawyer and sues Twitch for the remainder of his contract. You know, basically sues them for a breach of contract and wins millions of fuck dollars flat out from Twitch after they fired him. So they had to give him fuck loads of money and pay attorneys to give him fuck loads of money for nothing. And in this situation that happened years ago, close to this supposed damning event, <clears throat> a 
when Twitch had millions of dollars and their own reputation on the line and they were just being bashed relentlessly for firing one of their top five most popular highest earning uh, streamers and they don't use evidence that he's a pedophile, they don't use it to nail him with some kind of breach of contract or, or um, failure to uphold some sort of um, morality clause or something. They don't use it and they're out millions. But seven years later, when Dr. Disrespect gets a multi-million dollar PepsiCo sponsorship, some bitch, Brett Kavanaugh style, comes out of the woodwork. Oh, Doc, Brett Kavanaugh ran a train on me in college. Got me drunk and gave me roofies. No evidence. Completely buried. That chick and all those bitches and those false accusers humiliated. You may not remember this, but Trump... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still recovering from bronchial infection. Trump even had a bunch of freaking, oh, Trump raped me chicks come out of the woodwork for about two seconds in 2016. And all of a sudden they disappeared from the news. Probably because a lawyer went, hey, would you like to get sued with the most flagrant defamation per, per se? I will ru fucking ruin your life, bury you and bankrupt you shit if you do not cease and desist. Keep in mind, we're supposed to be the base guys. Zero fucking evidence. All the evidence in the world that this is a fuck job. Keep in mind that this is how progressives and, and, and their fellow types, their progressives. Oh, excuse me. I'm doing the echo wrong. Progressives. Uh, yeah, th these types, transgender, furry, weirdo, alternative lifestyle people on Twitter, right? They look at a guy who's playing a character that is basically the embodiment of the Sigma male meme. Get a multi-million dollar contract from fucking PepsiCo. They release an empty, evidenceless accusation. Dr. Disrespect loses that sponsorship and steps down from his own company. This is literally Papa John's. Explaining to a boardroom, okay, you should never say the N-word. You should only say the word nigger if you're quoting somebody else who said it maliciously. He says this, gets fired from a company that has his name and face as the trademark name and the logo of Papa Fuck John's. He says there's a day of reckoning. It never comes. The man gets thrown out from under his own big giant franchise. This is the exact fuck same thing that happened to Dr. Disrespect with even less good reason. He's losing everything, regardless of whether he's innocent or not. Pepsi's not coming back. His company probably isn't rehiring him. He has to start over from scratch. And you're telling me you believe this. I have people telling me that they think that Twitch has been illegally surveilling whispers, and that's how they knew he was talking to underage girls, and they decided to quietly fire him, even though they despise him and wanted to break with him ages ago before this. They illegally spy on him and say, well, we can't admit that we're spying on DMs or we can't admit that underage girls are contacting dudes in their 40s on our platform. We're already basically a pornography semi fucking um, trafficking fucking site Twitch. So we just fire him, but we don't say the reason why we're firing him is something we can use to destroy his reputation and business and life forever. And that you're telling me you believe this because some worthless fucking baby's first lolcow channel, Turkey Tom, is going, oh, yeah, he's super guilty because he said he talked to the chick. What made you turn into a male feminist, believe all women, fucking bitch made orbiter? This exact second, is it is it literally just because Twitch is a scumbag company and some of this incredibly salacious, utterly fucking baseless allegations against even Twitch, who I have no goodwill towards whatsoever and would love to see be destroyed as a company, but you're telling me that they protected themselves by protecting a pedophile and then we have, since we have no idea how old this girl was, and I don't think there's any evidence she ever told Dr. Disrespect how old she was. We don't know who this person is. No name, no age, no face, no receipts, no DMs, nothing. 
I've had, I've heard some people speculating that she was 12 and Twitch freaked out because Twitch is a 13 plus platform or she was 16 and Whispers was 18 plus barred. It's speculation. Wild, fucking irresponsible, fucking pitiful, fucking cunty, fucking absolutely shameful, baseless assumptions and fantasies. I may prove to be wrong. The truth may come out, but here's the last thing I'll leave you with. Dr. Disrespect is known for trying to set people up and take a swing at him. He admits to having contact with this chick. What if he has the receipts? What if the contact was incredibly innocuous? The flirtation is practically small talk. What if, here's my wild speculation, what if there's nothing there? What if it's a fucking nothing burger? And he puts it out there and says, oh, by the way, expect a process server tomorrow, Twitch. I'm suing for defamation per se. Or I'm suing this former Twitch employee for every fucking thing she's got. Or maybe pulling, it, you know, a, a badass dude and just sues her for a dollar just to have it out in court that you fucking lost, that a jury of your fucking peers called, knew you were a fucking liar and a fraud. That is more likely, by far, than any of this he's an actual pedophile shit. Am I taking crazy pills or are you a trained fucking monkey dancing to the beat of your fucking enemies just to see a high and mighty Sigma douchebag fall? Well, you know what? I love to see the high and mighty fall. I love watching Nick Ricada fucking melt into a morass of fucking scum. I like that because I used to, like everybody else, watch him and think what he was doing is cool and slowly you learn that this person is a fraud and a faker, a chameleon, a grifter. I am getting zero fucking grifter vibes. I'm getting zero fucking rape vibes. I'm getting zero fucking pedophile vibes. Yeah, the guy presents a douchebag over the top fake personality. He's a, practically a character actor. Yes, it's been outed in 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 you know drama and dirt on this guy that he is a cheater, that he is a womanizer, that he has failed like so many rich and powerful men before him to resist the urge of strange pussy. But a guy who could get strange pussy in person anywhere at any time needing to sext a mysterious underage girl that he's never seen or met, has no idea, just somebody who DM'd him and he DM'd back, that's all it takes for you to believe this. Aren't you ashamed of yourself?